In this video, we will learn what is a random module in NumPy. We will also see some examples. So if you want to work with random numbers, NumPy has a module called random. Let's see. To import uh, this module, first we need to install NumPy, obviously because it is a NumPy module. After installing NumPy, you need to just import random like this from NumPy import random. That is, we are actually importing random from NumPy library because it is a part of it. So in this video, we will see the following examples. First, we will generate a random number. Then we will generate a random, a random array with a fixed size. And in the end, we will generate one of the random values based on an array of values. Let's begin. So first, we will generate a random number. Okay, using the rand int method of the random module. So let us see an example. Here we have our PyCharm ID. We have created a new project for random module. Let us create a new Python file. Right click new. Click on Python file. Type the name of the file. Since Python file is by default selected, it will automatically add the .py Python extension. Press enter. Here it is. It has added the Python extension. Since we have two more examples, I'll create two more files quickly. So we have created two more files. Let us see the first example. In this example, we will generate a random number in NumPy. Since we already installed the NumPy library, the NumPy package in PyCharm ID, what we need to do to work around random type from NumPy and import random. That's it. This will allow you to work on the random module. Now let us get the random number. Take a variable type random. That is a random module and use the rand int method. Within that add 5. So this will generate random values from from 0 to 5. Okay. Get random values or random number from 0 to 5 because we have added 5. If we added 10, it would have displayed from 0 to 10. Okay, but I'll go for 5. Now that's it, just print the random number. That's it, N. Now go to file, save all, right click, run demo 1. So we have printed the random, the random number, it generated 1. When I'll run it again, right click run, a different random number will get displayed, 0, it's visible. So from 0 to 5, it will be visible, a random number will be visible because we have set 5 here. So guys, in this way, we can easily generate a random number using the rand in method. Now let us see how we can generate a random number with a fixed size. So we will generate random elements of an array using the random.randint method. That is the randint method of the random module. Okay. Since we are talking about array, so how the fixed size will be set? It will be set using the size parameter. So let us see the example. Type from numpy since we already have numpy in pycharm we installed it so just type from numpy import random to work around the random module now we will create a variable n and use the random module dot randint method within that 10 so in the previous example we have done the same but here what we need to do we need to also set the the size I'll set the size using the size parameter. So what will happen? From 0 to 10, it will display random numbers. And total random numbers it will display will be 3. And in an array form. Okay. We can write here. So we can write here, get, get 3 random numbers. As array elements, because an array will be displayed as an output from 0 to 10. Why? Because we have set 10 here. Just like in the previous example, we have 
set 5. So from 0 to 5 we generated a random number. Here we are just generating it in an array with a size we set on our own using the size parameter. That's it, print. That's it, go to file, save all, right click, run demo 2. Now here you can see it generated 3 random values from 0 to 10. Since we have set 10 here, when I'll run it again, run demo 2, different values will be visible. 1, 6, 4 are visible. So this is how we can work around finding random values and generating the result in an array. So we generated random elements of an array using the randint method. So in this example, what we'll do, we will generate one of the random values based on an array of values using the choice method of the random module. Okay. Let us understand the concept using an example. At first import random. Since we installed numpy before, just write from numpy import random. So we have imported it in our program. Now take a new variable n. Use random module dot choice and within this we will set the values in an array and from those values only the random number will get generated. Let's say I'll add uh, 10 values and since we have used the choice method one of these values, random values will get displayed. Go to file, save all, right click, run demo 3. You can see 20 gets generated because it is a part of this array and the same got displayed. When I will right click and run again, any other value from this list will get displayed as a random number. So this is the purpose of the choice method, 70 is visible here. I will do it again and some other value will get displayed, 30. So in this way guys, we can set our own values to be displayed as a random value, individual value. We achieved the same using the choice method of the random module. In this video, we saw how we can work around the random module in NumPy. We saw three examples and we also saw how we can import it in NumPy. Thank you for watching the video.